good people. Karibu ni sana. Guys, uh, kuna huu msichana mwenye ametred sana. Anaitwa Starret Wahu, mwenye aliuliwa Paris South B kwa Airbnb apartment yenye najita Papino na mwenye ako suspect the my, the main suspect anaitwa John Matara. And let me tell you guys, this guy a lot of details have emerged about him. Uh, kuwa this guy amekuwa pare kwa dating sites uh, akitafuta wasichana and yani kwake imekuwa ni kama biashara and saizi amechukuliwa uh, kama a serial killer cause kumepatikana kuwa she have been reported uh, kuna watu wenye wako na uh, the OB OB number kuna watu wenye wako na OB number kwa this guy amekuwa aki akienda pale kwa dating sites alafu anapeleka wasichana kwa Airbnb na akifika pale ni kuwaitisha pesa na kwa kuwauliza about the pin numbers na kutoka hapo ana ana waharas mtu akikata ana waharas kama kuna msichana mmoja amejitokeza na siki yani hata iko mbali it's december december this guy alichukua msichana pale kwa dating site wakaongea na yeye na wakaenda kwa Airbnb na vinyo walifika pale huyo msichana alia uh, uja mari mtisha pesa na vinyo msichana alimwambiana pesa alianza kumbwara ukiangalia huku amembwara amemtoanisha nyama and uh, um sana venye sasa aliona maisha yake iko hatarini aliyeka za kila kitu amesema kuwa ari transfer 50k kutoka kwa account yake ya Mpesa mpaka kwa this guy na akasema kuwa jina inaleta vizuri John Matara jina yake and uh, hii si at ni kitu yenye like iko nyuma ya ya tent um sana anasema i got i have the messages nitawaonyesha sik tu ya mbali it's december guys those marks are fresh huyu ni mwaji the marks are very very fresh hata ukiangalia huku msichana amegwarwa yani ametolewa nyama kabisa na amesema alitoa hizo pesa ili time tu aliona maisha yake iko hatarini guys it's so so sad kuwa na mtu kama Starlet wa huu ameenda tu hivyo juu ya kumit mtu you know kwa dating site guys na ndio tunaambia ngwa let be very very careful na this dating site you never know mtu mwenye una date mtu mwenye unapata pale kwa dating site ni nani you don't know who is the the person mwenye una, unapata pale watu wengine wako pale they are in business wanatafuta pesa hmm? watu wengi wako pale wengine ni waharifu watu wengine wako pale yani they are in a mission wanataka waikambilishe so guys it's very very good to be careful ukiwa kwa hizi dating site jaribu kujua mtu vizuri cuz mimi kwanza nashangaa mtu kama starlet wa huu she's a socialite yani msichana mrembo hata ukimwangalia she's very very cute unaona very very cute sasa najaribu kujiuliza ilifikaje mpaka huo starlet wa huu wakaongea na huo jamaa waende mpaka kwa ya BNB and uh, for me yani mpaka najiuliza this guy kwani hakuwa na nyumba yake this guy kwani wa huu pia hakufikiria maybe ampeleke kwa nyumba yake ni nini ilisababisha what happened Guys it's 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 a situation yenye hata uwezi we, elewa cuz like mimi nilikuwa na jori za maswali mingi naona sasa huyu msichana amesema aritishwa pesa lakini pale kwa starlet wa huu inaonekana it's like kind of different cuz ujue au watu mpaka walikuwa asha have sex naona cuz kuna semekana kwa hivyo kulikuwa na kodo mbili pale moja ilikuwa imetumiwa na moja ilikuwa imetumika eh pia kulikuwa na na HIV walikuwa wame wamejipima na zilikuwa zimetoa kuwa hawakuwa na HIV naona so jamani this hii kitu inatatanisha cuz mimi najaribu kujiuliza wa huu maybe alifanywa hivi ju maybe hakukubali kwenda na yeye like tunasema nyama kwa nyama naona <coughs> hakukubali kwenda na yeye maybe bila the protection ama 
maybe alikuwa sasa anaitishwa pesa you know and uh, isemekana kuwa the DCA walisema kuwa pale kulikuwa na simu kadha na pia inatatanisha cause this guy venye alitrakiwa alipatikana kwa hospitali akiwa amedungwa kizu kwa mguu yake alikuwa anatifitiwa so ukiangalia hapa unajaribu jamani huwezi elewa huwezi elewa nini but for sure kujua msichana amejitokezea na amesema hivyo saa hizi yani kuna karait mahali kuna karait mahali kwa kuwa huyu this guy maybe hawako amejuana forum kuzukiangalia this girl amesema ali ali report in december 29 na hii ni na wahu kisa yake may happen to like few days i think leo ni siku ya tatu kutoka hizi tu hapa so it's 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 really really sad kwa na mtu kama huyu yani anatafuta jia kwa jia ya kimabavu alafu anaenda tu an extend kuwa mtu hmm? kuwa mtu juu ya pesa ni wasichana tujitahadhari sana kwanza kwenda kwa hizi ya bnb bis na mtu mwenye ujui ha sasa hizi hata mimi kama naulizwa kama una, una nini ya bnb kama hizi unajua hizi hizi vitu nyingi ni za usherati ni za usherati wa kiwango kwa sasa ushaenda pale huyu mtu hata unjui. Hmm? That means hata huyu msichana walikuwa wamepatana tu mara ya kwanza, mara ya kwanza. Ukiona wanatumia protection, that means walikuwa wamepatana mara ya kwanza. And najaribu kujiuliza, was it a business? Ilikuwa business. Was it waende pare started wa who are people? Was it warienda pale you know Yani ikit, by the way guys wanasema kuwa pia kulikuwa na pombe. Kwa hivyo maybe walikunywa pombe alafu wakaendelea na mambo zao. Wasichana let's be very very careful. Let's be very careful with mambo zenye tunafanya because mambo zingine zinaweza kuja kutuletea shida kabisa 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 kwa rafiki like yetu. Na si hata sisi cuz unajua hastari kwa huwa shakufa. Sasa yeye ana shida. Unajua wewe ukikufa wewe unasahau kila kitu. I don't think yani mtu anakumbuka kitu. Although kuna watu wenye wanasemanga ati wewe oh, kuna spirit haijarest nini. No, no. But me for me I think mtu wa kubuki kitu yani kisha imeisha tu hivyo. Yani when ukikufa it's done yani akili zako zina shut. Huwezi fikiria tena. So uh, started to ahu size ana shida. Size mtu mwenye kwa shida ni John Matara na pia na familia yake na familia yake na pia na familia ya Kanyari cuz they have lost their daughter. Yaani wamemtupa tu mtoto wao tu. You know, wamemtupa tu ile like for nothing, for nothing guys. Hmm? So it's really really sad na mimi naombea familia ya Pastor Kanyari Mungu tu awasaidie. Cuz eh si laisi it's not easy it's not easy kuwa na msichana wao umeolewa hizi ni vitu zenye zimekuwa ziki happen now and then watu kuolewa kwa Airbnb watu kurushwa kwa ma apartment yani hizi ni vitu zenye zimekuwa ziki happen mnakumbuka nani <coughs> anaitwa nani um huyu maigo maigo pia yes mnakumbuka tu juzi tu juzi tu aliwa to the same same thing kwa nyumba yake and this now is started to so it's so so sad. Okay.